Xiaomi's Redmi Note 3 was one of the best-selling devices. With its successor, the company is looking to continue the momentum. Redmi Note 4, which was initially released in China, is now available with a Snapdragon 625 chipset. Hey, what's up guys, Ayush here, and this is my review of the brand new Redmi Note 4. The budget king just got better. Xiaomi has continued to dominate the budget category with their incredible specs to price ratio. And this time they have taken the competition to a whole another level. Coming just under $200 even for the maxed out version, Redmi Note 4 seems to be an overkill judging by the specification sheet. The incredible well-built Redmi Note 3 chassis just got better with the Note 4. It now sports an all-metal chassis to give it a much more premium feel to it. And the entire body is now made out of aluminum. The antenna bands serve dual purpose which separates the design for a much polished look. They have trimmed down the thickness to 8.4mm while adding a little weight to it, which is a welcome addition in my opinion. And thanks to the chamfered edges and slightly curved back, the phone fits and feels great in your hands. Quite certainly the build of this phone is sturdy. But in case you want to add an extra level of protection to your device for those occasional drops, Caseable offers some unique cases for it. The coolest thing about them is they let you create your very own case. You can upload photos from your last holiday or your company logo and strap it at the back for your own personalized case. And thankfully all of these prints are scratch resistant and water resistant. They do offer some cases with abstract patterns and urban vibes from range of designers as well. So check out the links if you want your very own case. They do offer customized options for a range of other devices as well. Now coming to the front, we have a beautiful 5.5 inch IPS LCD 1080p panel with really slim side bezels. Now unlike previous generations, this time Xiaomi has included a 2.5D curved glass. The display itself is brighter and has better color reproduction than the Redmi Note 3 and is easily one of the best panels in this segment. Moreover, sunlight visibility is also decent with good viewing angles. And oh, before I forget, let me mention that watching movies and videos is an absolute delight with this phone. To further aid to better media consumption, the speaker is kept sufficiently loud which is significantly better than its predecessor. Moving the speaker to the bottom means that it is no longer muffled when lying flat on a surface. Although the sound from the speaker suffers distortion at high volumes, given the incredible low price tag, you can't complain much about it. And yes, the hardware navigation buttons are backlit, allowing for easy access at night. Now coming to the top, we have the traditional 3.5mm headphone jack and thankfully, they have not gotten rid of the IR blaster making it easy to control electronic devices at home. The power and the volume buttons are ergonomically placed on the right which offers decent tactile feedback. And we still have that classy Xiaomi's hybrid SIM tray on the left making it a perfect budget smartphone. While we are on this topic, call reception and its quality is pretty great. Round the back, the camera sensor and the lens modules are aligned with the intuitively placed fingerprint sensor, which is fast, responsive and snappy. The 13 megapixel with f2.0 lens and PDAF does a great job of taking photos in well-lit conditions. And the resulting images are full of detail and offer saturated colors. You get more detail while shooting in HDR, but it does take slightly longer to shoot. Images at low light turned out decent, but you'll have to put in a lot of effort to get possible shots. Now there is a 5 megapixel camera up front that has a f2.0 lens for better selfies. On the other hand, the camera app is really easy to use and comes with a wealth of options including filters, beauty effects and manual mode that lets you tweak the ISO, white balance and exposure settings. Moving on to the performance, Redmi Note 4 did really good considering that the specs demanding titles like Asphalt 8, Modern Combat 5 ran smoothly. The Snapdragon 625 handled visually intensive tasks without breaking a sweat. And the 4 gigs of RAM really helps in day-to-day -day activities and multitasking. There has not been any heating issues so far, although basic warming of the device is pretty normal with graphic-intensive tasks. 
Now, unlike the Snapdragon 650, the 625 is built on the 14nm node, resulting in greater energy efficiency. Coupled with 4100 mAh battery, you get a vastly increased battery life. The phone easily lasts a day and a half if you are a heavy user, and if you are not, it's gonna last even longer. The one downside here is the Redmi Note 4 does not support fast charging. It's limited to 5V 2A, which takes about 2.5 hours to fully charge. The Note 4 is currently running on Android 6 with MIUI 8, which introduced much needed visual flair. It's smooth in most cases and multitasking is good. However, there are a few occasional minor lag here and there. One minor dissatisfaction I would say is aggressive memory management. Another issue with MIUI is a lock screen. The lock screen notifications are a hit and a miss. While I receive all Gmail notifications, I'm yet to see one for Google's Messenger or Facebook Messenger, which gets really frustrating at times. Keeping all these aside, MIUI 8 does offer tons of new features and customizability. You have dual apps, which lets you run two instances of the same apps. There is a new power saving mode that lets you conserve a battery and there's quick ball feature that lets you access shortcuts with ease. You can also take scrolling screenshots, convert currencies and other units on the fly and much more. For day-to-day -day tasks overall, the user experience with Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 is really snappy, fast and great. At the end of the day, for the price it comes in, it is amongst the best phone you can buy in a complete package. So that was my experience with the Redmi Note 4. I hope this video helped you to make an informed decision in case you are aiming to buy one for yourself. Xiaomi is currently selling three variants of this Redmi Note 4. The base model has 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. Then there is a variant with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs storage. And the most interesting model is one with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. All of which comes under $200. I will leave the links in the description down below. Well, that's it for this video guys. We will be coming up with more contents pretty soon. Until then, you guys have a great day.